Well, you have not forgotten. Aboard, about, above, across, after, against, along, amid, among, around, at. And you are doing pretty well at learning before, behind, below, beneath, beside, between, beyond, but, by. Remember, spelling counts as well. Today, we are doing this section before you get to stop section three. Two questions that prepositions and the words that go with them can answer in a sentence. These could be the same two questions you put at the beginning if you got them correct. Or you could look back in the folder and pick two other questions that prepositions answer um, as you are putting together a sentence. Your other part of the assignment, this time I have given you the prepositional phrase and you have to come up with the main part of the sentence. Beside the battlefield, that is telling where the rest of the sentence has to tell what action there was beside the battlefield. So you have to decide beside the battlefield, do something to show that you could cut off this part of the sentence and the rest of it makes sense. This part here must be a complete sentence that could stand on its own, not capitalized though because the beginning of the sentence is back here. Between the road and the house, again, the preposition at the beginning is telling where you have to say the action that happened in this place. So between the road and the house, my brother tackled me and made me roll down the hill. That would be action that happened in this place. Don't forget how you end a sentence. Don't forget that you must show this beginning phrase is separate from the main part of the sentence, that the main part of the sentence can go on without it. That is your assignment for today.